Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and today is day 30 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. It's a trick though because it's 31, <laughs> there's 31 days in October so there is another video coming tomorrow. Um, so this isn't the last one, even though this series is called 30 Days of Sketches. Um, there is 31 this year, uh, so or this month, sorry. Uh, so this sketch, which you can see in the top right hand corner, is created by Kathy Lang and she is Canadian Scrapper Girl here on YouTube. I will have her YouTube channel linked down below. And I am using the Briarwood collection from Rosie Studio for this layout. Now I make it a little boo-boo in a minute. Uh, you'll anyway, you'll be able to see it shortly what I do. Um, so I stuck this down not not well <laughs> it was very crooked i tried to trim it with my trimmer and then uh the rosie studio paper this is the really old rosie studio paper um, and that used to be really thin so you can see there that i completely ripped the um, paper not rosie studio's fault my blade in my trimmer is blunt and so it doesn't cut the very thin paper particularly well uh, and so i end up just cutting it off as you can see there i'm cutting off um the bits that sort of were overhanging so the, the paper is still stuck on the back but I just cut off the parts that you could see and I'm just pretending that they don't exist <laughs> and then I'm going to trim down this black paper so when I trim this down um, when it was not sort of adhered to everything else it cut fine uh, so my blade is blunt it's not the paper's fault it's my blade's fault um, but Rosie Studio used to make very thin 12 by 12 paper it is slightly thicker than it used to be it's still not that real heavyweight um, cardstock like uh, some of the other companies make um, for their 12 by 12 paper but it's not as thin as it used to be so Rosie Studio have kind of met met somewhere in the middle uh, which is great because this was a little too thin their, their older paper so you couldn't kind of use it as a background to your layouts just on its own it would always need to be kind of have something else behind it to give it a little bit of weight to hold all the embellishments now I am using this Happy Days ephemera piece as my title. I had three copies of this day's ephemera um, and I wasn't sure I was going to use it. So what I'm actually doing is layering them on top of each other just to create a little bit of dimension. So I don't end up popping up this um, phrase or word um, die cut or ephemera piece on foam or anything. So by adding those extra two kind of copies of the the same die cut it just gave it a little bit of dimension without needing foam um, and also kind of a nice way to use up uh, something that you think you might not use rather than throw it out now you you kind of have to use your imagination <laughs> for my interpretation of this sketch I had these two photos of Addison at her uh, newborn photo shoot she was six weeks old at the time um, and you will have seen I've, I've scrapped these photos a couple of times already this month with this collection, uh, but I am using them for different things. Uh, and so I kind of, look, the basic elements of the sketch are there, but I knew I had to make it work with two photos because that's what I had, that's what I wanted to use. And they're two large four by six photos. Uh, and so just, just use your imagination for this part. <laughs> Um, I do add a cluster in the top right and also the actual right hand side of the page um, just like in Kathy's sketch so that's all there uh, it's just you know my photo placement is a bit of a uh, it, you have to use your imagination <laughs> um, yeah look that's it we're nearly finished we're just sticking everything down uh, this one was super easy to come together actually um, yeah super cute I really like these photos so much oh I mean, I know I'm biased because she's my daughter and everything, but she's so cute. She's also having a nap right now. So I'm trying to do, I've got three more voiceovers left for October. So I'm really trying to get them finished um, before she wakes so that I can upload them tonight and have them done. Um, I've been putting off this voiceover for almost two weeks. It's like the 20th of October right now. Um, and I made these layouts a long time ago. <laughs> um, right at the start of October, I'm pretty sure. Um, the first few days. So I've been putting it off for a while, uh, but I need the space on my phone to film some more videos, story of my life. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm just trying to quickly whiz through them while she is napping. We've had some amazing weather here, but uh, we've also had a hell of a lot of rain in my part of Australia. Uh, and there's a lot of flooding happening um, in regional Victoria. So Victoria is the state that I'm in. I'm in Melbourne, the capital city. Um, 
and there's not that much. There is some localised flooding in Melbourne, but it's not uh, as much as some of our regional towns have seen. My parents are fine where they are. Um, but yeah, there's a lot and there is a lot more rain coming over the weekend. So I am filming this voiceover on a Thursday and there's a lot of rain coming from Friday and all over the weekend. So it's going to be a bit of a hairy one, I think. Um, yeah, so that's not great. How's everybody else been? How's everyone else's October going? I hope anyone who is listening to me from uh, Australia um is kind of okay around the flooding it's not just victoria there's also flooding in new south wales and i think parts of south australia um a lot of new south wales and queensland were hit with awful flooding earlier in the year and now it's victoria's turn so yeah it's not been a great year for rain (laughs) um and it's it's not like it it's helpful rain either it's um you know uh it's very unhelpful rain filling all of our uh, dams and catchments uh, to overflowing. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of cleanup coming, which is just, it's very sad. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, I am just sticking all my bits down for this layout. Um, in the description box down below, I will link the 30 Days of Sketches playlist um, where you'll see all the other people playing along. I hope you're enjoying watching. I'm in day 30. We're basically at the end. Um, I have not watched any videos this month. I do feel a little guilty, but it's just been a lot going on. Um, and I just haven't had time to watch YouTube. September is such a busy month for us. Um, and I'm only like a third of the way through the September videos for Scrap Timber, which I feel so bad about. Um, but I just haven't had time. Um, but I see you. I see those of you who um, participated and I'm so grateful. And the same with 30 Days of Sketches. I'm seeing all the content on Instagram and on Facebook. And there's just some amazing stuff out there. Um, so go and check it all out if you love sketches like I do. Um, I will link the Facebook group as well so you can go and check it out. Um, everybody posts their take in the comments of the Facebook group. So if you like a particular sketch, you can click on the photo and then you'll see everybody else's take on that sketch to give you some more ideas which is awesome so that will all be linked down below um so yeah I don't have much else to say really as I said this is the Briarwood collection from Rosie Studio which I love um I didn't get as much of it used as I would have liked but that's okay I think I made four layouts with it so I can't really complain about that um I'm gonna add some splatters just some Heidi Top Color Shine in blush and then I will be all finished um so check everything in the description box all the links etc will be down there and I am back tomorrow with our very last video for 30 days of sketches now we are slowing down a lot in the month of November because December is our scrappy advent calendar time so um we won't you won't see as much from us in November but we will be back in December. Um, But thank you guys so much for watching this month and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks guys. Bye.